Hi, I'm Jamie Forbes and I'm here with Vivian Ducat. And your film is, Vivian? My film is called All Me, The Life and Times of Winfred Rembert. And your focus was on? My focus is on an artist who actually had a show last year at the Adelson Galleries on Madison Avenue, who was on a chain gang in the 1960s um, and learned to tool leather while he was on the chain gang. And later in life, when he couldn't be a physical laborer anymore, when he'd moved north, he started to tell the stories of his childhood and of the Jim Crow South on tooled leather that he painted with shoe dye. Oh, interesting. And we met him. I met him at an opening at the Adelson Galleries that was a benefit for an arts program that one of my kids is in. And I saw this man, asked him two questions, saw that he had the cadence of a storyteller, knew that the gallery needed a short film, talked the gallery into making a short film. Having made the short film, realized what a much bigger sort of sociological picture this was, that there were chain gangs in the 60s, things that we don't take, you know, that we don't think actually happened. And we started to make a feature doc in the summer of 2010. And by May of 2011 we had a finished 78 minute film which showed here yesterday and will show on Sunday. Had you done this before? Oh, I've, I've been a documentary maker yes. for 30 years. And so. what are some of your other films? Film for the American Experience, uh, Hawaii's Last Queen, films for PBS series from the story of English to um, the prize, um, Race to Save the Planet, The Mind. I mean, I, I've, I've worked on a lot of television films. I've also done a lot of media for museums. That's what I've done for the last decade. From and that was what I wanted to know. What's your involvement with the arts? You have a very in-depth involvement with the arts. I, we just met. This is very extemporaneous hour. I'm the daughter of a mother who actually was part of group shows at the Guild Hall, so as a painter, Absolutely. as a painter who always felt she could never succeed, so there was a lot of emotional stuff that went on between me and the subject of my film because I felt like I was reliving oh, bits of personality that were in my childhood. Um, what was your mother's name? Which, what? Ellen Ducat. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. So, arts and judgment about art is very much, I mean, she's not alive. I sort of had these m imaginary conversations in my head with her about doing this, and she would have killed to have been in the Adelson Galleries, you know, that shows John Singer Sargent and Maurice Prendergast, who is one of her favorite artists. Oh, that's interesting. So, it's, it's, it's probably not coincidental, but intense that I've walked into doing a film about an artist. I have to say that when I used to do radio in the late 70s for NPR, one of the strands that I used to do, I was based out of Boston freelancing, was about artists. And one of my kicks was to prove that artists have a lot to say and that you could do radio and not see their work and still have a really oh, interesting absolutely. piece. And that was sort of off behind millions of films on millions of topics. And it's so interesting that I sort of found myself back in this, this time with a visual component. So you, you're searching for the voice and you're integrating it through your own internal fabric that's woven with this passion and interest and interaction, sometimes positive, sometimes negative, in finding your art voice. It's part of the fabric of who you are. If you say so. It, it appears that way to me. I actually play the flute in the film as well. There's music under the gallery at one point, and that's me. Um, so, yes, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I've always been really interested in the arts and its visual things, um, but to own it is a whole other and struggle. How, how will people find you on the internet? A, we, we did a website specifically for this film called AllMeTheMovie.com, and then my work that's for museums for the last decade is up under www.ducatmedia.com, and my work as a long format filmmaker I've never bothered to put on the web. You can search some of the titles of my films to search my name and stuff comes Perfect. up. And how will people see the film? Uh, the, either they come to this festival, the Chicago Film Festival, the Hot Springs Film Festival, go to the 50-year anniversary of the Civil Rights Movement in Albany, Georgia, and hopefully coming to a theater near you, but that's in everyone else's hands. Well, thank you for joining Fine Art Magazine. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you for your time. Oh.